Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Maisha Renee, aka Glitter and Gills, and today I'm organizing my flies for when I go fly fishing. I have a good amount of flies, and um, I do not know the name of them, so let's start off with saying that as I'm organizing them, I'm going to be putting them in my little box. If you guys could please comment below if you know the names of any of them would be awesome, because I don't know the name of any of them. I just know that I have um, Cray Cray Rust and have cray cray and it's like the green color and they're by um, Rio. But other than that, I do not know the name of them. I've caught so far a couple of fish on them. Uh, my favorite was cray cray rust. I caught my first <laughs> fish, it was a frog. I caught a frog on the fly rod, you guys. That is so, I mean, how does that happen? But if you look at um, previous videos that I have, you'll actually be able to see that um, the frog and all that it was so funny it's a very funny video very cool um but i want to share with you guys as i organized it i was like why not you know just go ahead and do it along with you guys instead of me just going putting them in and having no idea what it is that i'm doing <laughs> why not go ahead and share with you guys so i'm going to be um got me a little small organizing little you can use it for tackle or whatever you want to do you can find them at like your local um fishing and bait shops and so i got this one um, I thought it'd be perfect because it's small and it'd be perfect for my little flies. So I have them, I've been keeping them in this bag because they're so small. They're very sharp, they're very tiny. And I just like, I didn't want them to get mixed in and lost everything else. But let's go ahead and just dump these babies out. Can you see that? It's a bunch of them, you guys. They're very small. Um, before you ask, no, I do not know how to tie my own flies yet. Um, but I definitely will get into that more as I learn and get more comfortable with fly fishing itself. Um, right now I am super newbie. Um, I definitely caught my PB bass, um, maybe in the, I think it was like the spring, March. Oh my God, I was not really like, um, ready for it. It was so small. Is this the one? And this is what I caught it on, you guys. Check this out. Fly fishing is very, very, very cool. Look at this. Oh, can you guys see that? You see that little thing? You guys, I caught, um, he maybe was like almost five pounds, a five pound bound at night, you guys. I just, I don't know, I haven't seen anybody else do it yet, so I'm just gonna say that I did it. <laughs> but I, anyway though, a five pound bass, you guys, on this, the tiniest little worm, it's, it basically looks like a worm, it's imitating a worm, like a, a very tiny worm at night in the dark i'm talking about not just like the sun is setting it was maybe like 10 o'clock at night and um as soon as i dropped it maybe within like three seconds i just reeled it in they he blasted this sucker so this is like my favorite other than the cray cray rest so um we're gonna start with this one you guys number one if you guys know what this one is anybody please let me know because that'd be great um and we'll just start putting them putting them in their little spots or whatever. I mean, there's like, I have like some popping frogs in here. I mean, I didn't even know that fly um, ties, you know, even look like this. So maybe, I don't know if I should organize them by color or what. There's a good amount. You see that? There's a lot, you guys. He gave me like some really, really good ties. Thanks, George. Like some really, 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 really good ties appreciate it but I don't know what they're called so I would like to be able when I catch them when I catch fish whatever to let you guys kind of like know you know what I caught them on look at this this isn't this let me put this right here isn't this like the cutest thing look at that can you guys see that oh my light is good it, it has it's I'm, I'm assuming it's like the bumblebee right because it has that whole little bumblebee pattern it has like the feather tail and like what's cool is that when you for people that don't fly fish um and you know are maybe predominantly bass fishermen um catfish or whatever and you just haven't experienced that yet it's definitely really cool but what's cool about these baits i mean of course you're like well you gotta catch with that but it's really cool because every time that what i do like about fly fishing the more that i do it is that what i have noticed is that when i'm dropping that bait especially bluegills bluegill do not play around panfish don't play around with fly tie with flies so whenever i drop like those kind of things, i don't know if it's the way that they're floating swimming because like when you know this stuff it gets wet like the feathers and 
all these type of things when they're wet like they get really thin and they move really lifelike and like they're chasing my bait so it's definitely very exciting i haven't been able to fly fish as much as i would like um so far this year because it's just been super windy for the for california which is really strange um so i gotta catch those good days and it's usually really hot but i'm gonna try to get out next week and do a little bit more but every time so far that I went out i've caught something i mean a frog i've caught um bluegill um i've caught but i think four bass like four bass so i've done really good for you know a start whatever um i just want to get out there more and because i mean it's definitely very fun and i mean try to improve like my technique so or even develop a technique you know what i'm saying because i'm a newbie so this is one to go with but let me get my little clippers because i have like some old string for me changing baits so i'm not in my office today because i'm i was just sitting here just getting ready just to do it i was kicking it back in my living room and i was just like you know what let me bring my friends along so what's up tribe i'm here um and you guys Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, share this video. Give your girls a thumbs up so she can jump into that algorithm. Um, so you two can put me out there so more people can be able to see. You know my goal is to diversify the outdoors. Um, and I need you guys help to by doing that. I need you guys to share and tell everybody about me. Um, so I really appreciate that. You know, I really, my goal is to just really just get out there and put a positive image for black people you know what i'm saying a positive image for women in general you know what i'm saying it's like um i really really am passionate about that and just like show everybody that you know women get outdoors you know black people get outdoors you know people of all color we know we're all trying to you know have be heard you know what i'm saying and, and just i just want to be able to be shown in a positive light because i mean everyone i mean you know everyone is beautiful and everyone is equal and let's just get out there and just have a good time together okay so all of that let's get to doing these ties let's get to doing these flies and you, if i'm if i say anything wrong if i call anything the wrong thing you guys correct me be nice but correct me because i am a newbie um but please any advice that you can give me any um tips any if you guys know the names of any of these flies please comment below just kind of describe it describe it for me that way i'll be able to go back and look at it i'll like literally write it down in somewhere so i can have like notes so i'll be able to know but i can use all the help you know if you know someone that is like the expert in fly fishing or whatever it is or they um they fly they tie flies whatever tag them so they can be able to give me some advice as well okay so Let's see, let's just go ahead because I have the string still attached from this one because I did use this one. And it's, I mean, this one, ones like these were really cool to me because I was just like, okay, wow, like, it's like a popper. And for all the bass fishermen, I mean, you know, we all can relate to that. We use poppers and things like that. But look at that. That's really cool, right? So, um, has a feather on tip. I hope you guys can help me with that one. It's really cool like a little bumblebee it's super cute so we'll put that one so let me see let me turn it here i'm just trying to see what's the best angle so you guys can see too probably like this works better for me too all right so let me put the little bumblebee in here and this fits really good for your flies for me for the like these because these are really big ones i've had like um i have a box of some real tiny 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 flies and so I'd probably end up putting all of those in just one side. But these are pretty big. They're very, very extravagant. Like, you know, I love over the top. I'm over the top. So these are definitely. And he was like, I know that you will love these. And yeah, he was right. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Can you see? Oh, I don't know if my light is doing me any justice. Let me see that's really nice right okay so we'll put him i don't know maybe i'll put him with this one for right now i'm just gonna give him his own little box for right now and then look at this one here's another one and see like i had them in these little in that bag so they were getting all tangled up so that's another reason why not to mention you know trying to switch your baits I don't want to be digging inside that bag and 
poke myself because it's very, very sharp, very sharp. Okay, here's another popper. These are so cool. This is like a frog. Yeah, look at that's like a frog. Can you see that? Very nice, very nice, very cool. I think these are so cool, you guys. My light may be too bright, I don't know. Better back, okay. So we're going, so if you know the name of that one, let me know, it's like a frog popper or something, you know? I'm sure my experts out there know. Let's see, any more? Oh, here's another one. These are so cool. And if you guys know, like, what's the price point on something like this, let me know as well. Because I would assume that they would be um, pretty costly. I mean, because for the poppers for bass fishing, you know, they can run you like 10, 12 bucks, sometimes more than that. So, I mean, fly fishing ain't cheap, y'all. So, tell me what you guys think that the price point, if you know, for these. Um, let's see. Can you see that? If you know the name of that one, let me know. Okay. Maybe I'll put these two together because they're very similar. You know, see that? Okay. I really don't know what the um, system I'm going for right now. I just kind of trying to untangle them at the most two first and just because look at, they're like... Y'all, I was jacking them up. This was not, they need to be separated bad. They need this, look at this. So I really need this organization. They're like tangled up. This is really cool, look at that. It's like a spider or something, you see that? I think it's so cool and it's so creative how these flies are like made in the fact that the, um, oh, it has like little, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so he has, looks like antennas there. But then he gets, so maybe he's like, he has like a two-sided look because then like he has like eyes there too. Nice hook, very nice hook. That's good enough for a uh, bass, largemouth bass, striper. I wouldn't be surprised if a catfish hooked this. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get. I really want to try to um, catch a catfish one day on the fly, but I'm. Oh my god, that bite is gonna be something else. Cause they're so strong. Let me see. So let's put Spider Woman over here. Okay, who else we got? But oh, this is similar. It's the same one. I think this is the same one. Let's see. Yeah. This is the same one. So I have two of these. Yeah. So I have two of those. Same size hooks. Let's see. Yep. Those are very good hooks too. Very sharp. One barb on it. Very good. Can't wait to try these. Alright, so. If you guys know the name of these little spider women looking things let's see let's put that in there okay oh here's another popper look at that they're so pretty look at the feathers these are feathers you guys they're so pretty let me get that string off of there Let's pull around. Let me see. All right, look at that. That's a, another pretty one. So let's put this in here with the little poppers. Maybe I'll put this with the bees because I'll put these two together because they both kind of have that bumblebee look. So I'll put those together. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, they're so tangled up. Let's check out this one right here. Look at this guy. Oh, is this? Now this is different. So this is weedless. Okay, that is really cool. That's really cool, y'all. Look at this. Ugh. What is that? Oh my God. Yeah, something's flying. Or maybe it's the dust from here. <laughs> That's how bad I've been keeping them. But look at this, you guys. It's like, a, um, it's weedless. 
like I'm so like intrigued by this because I'm just I did not know I'm so new to this I did not know that these were even like this was even a thing like it's weedless you see that that is so cool okay so we're gonna put that one oh I don't know if you can see the face of them see the face the face is really nice all right um, and so that one was like orange and black. Maybe I'll keep the colors together. Okay, I know this one. I know this one, you guys. Okay, so this is the Cray Cray. This is Cray Cray Rust. I'm pretty sure this is Cray Cray Rust. See that? This is what I caught my first <laughs> fish <laughs> frog. When I caught an actual bullfrog, you guys, on this one on the fly ride. It's so amazing. So this one is really, really cool. Yes, I love this one. This is a for sure this is a for sure hitter right here because i caught a really big frog on that one all right so cray cray go over here that's the only one you guys i'm an, i know the name of this is another cray cray yeah this is another cray cray and it's a crawfish crayfish you know depends on how you say it some people say crayfish some people say crawfish um usually um for me i say crawfish i don't say cray i say crawfish if I say cray cray, that means I think you crazy. <laughs> That's what I say cray cray. Holly, she cray cray. No, but crawfish is usually what I say. So, but yeah. So we'll put cray cray. And then you know what? Wait. I have these from Rio. Sage sent me these. As well as the cray cray rest I had. So let's just go ahead and put these in here as well. This is the same. The same ones, but they have a really nice green color. Super pretty. These are cray crays as well. I'm pretty sure the, the name for these were cray cray. Because I have these in the wrong box, cray cray rust. That was the cray cray rust. But look at that. Can you see it? Very nice. They are so sharp. And this hook is good. All of these are good for like bass. Bass don't hit them all, you guys. But some of them are, are small where you can get, like, the panfish to get on them. If that bluegill mouth is big enough, he'll hit this. But this is definitely more for bass. But a crappie or a bluegill, a crappie for sure could handle it. Um, a bluegill would try it. If his, if his mouth is big enough, he'll get that. See it? Okay. So we'll just put them right there. I have, what, one, two three four five so six of these those are very nice i like those a lot okay and then let's see i like this guy a lot right here i want to try that i want to use this one look at that i just feel like if i was a fish <laughs> i'd bite this it looks so good it looks so natural it, it gives like um that that big black bumblebee, you know what I'm saying? It has that look, or it looks like a big old whatever, what, horse fly or something, I don't know. But you see it? It's big, it's hairy looking and stuff. And then, you know, once he gets in the water, this is gonna thin out, and then you get to see all his little, you know, I'm sure that dude look crazy in the water. I'm sure that's a good, nice size hook. So I wanna throw him, so, let me th let me know what you guys think this one is. Maybe we'll call the little dude with the afro because <laughs> he's all you know. Look at his eyes. He looks like he has like he's a freaky looking dude. Okay, so let's put that one in there. Oh, here's another one that I would consider to be kind of like in the same family. And look at the tail on that one. Look at that. I like a long almost like maybe they would think it was a little i don't know mouse or something i don't know that's a really long tail though you see that's like long as my finger very nice detail like the eyes i mean i could see why they bite this though you know what i'm saying i just i could see why because look how like they look so real and when they're in the water, they look really, really good. Like this one, even it has a weight on it. You can feel it. It's it's heavier, so this one is gonna sink down a little bit. It has a it has weight onto the to it. 
these will stay on top of the water you know they're not gonna sink that's that whole copper top water type of thing let's see let's put you with the other fly let me see he had a little weight to him as well this weedless guy he feels very he's really light very very light i think that he would he won't you know he won't go down he kind of stay like to the top he feels real top water like, but i don't know how he's going to swim you know some big old eyes on him what do you think about that guy so this one is orange has almost like what let's say like a, a tiger face or something if you guys know and he's weedless if you know the name of that one okay let's see what else we got oh here's another popper let's see it's like um red like red or like a weird pink it's like look at that all that diva is going on i love it and then that hook just hides like right up in there you see that it's really nice i like this one too so what do you guys think the name of this one is kind of gives me ladybug the way it looks but definitely she all diva up you guys so let me know what you guys think this one is called we'll just put her over here this may be a whole row of poppers right here let's see they are like any more poppers in here what are these oh these are like some i think wait a minute yeah it's like a little poppers are like little small poppers look at that did not I just didn't think they made these type of this stuff like this. It has like little cheetah little marks. It's a nice one. Those hooks are very sharp. I'm so glad I'm putting them in here because they are very here's another one. Um I think it's a popper. I'm not for sure. But tell me what you guys think. This hook is a, a little bit smaller. But I mean, it's still big enough for a bass. Let's see. Can you see that? All right. And this one, it's like a small version of this one. Where is it? See it? It's just like a smaller version. Really, really nice. Okay, so. Let's look, keep those together. What do we got here? God, they're so tangled up. Let's see. Oh, I'll get back to that one. What is this? Two? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, that bag was not it. Okay, here's another one. These brown, very natural color. Them big old eyes like a mosquito or something. I think this, let me see. Yeah, there we go. You see that? Look at that. Oh, look at the tail. Okay, so what do you think the name of this one is, you guys? These are really, I mean, like, to me, these are, like, really, like, a piece of art. They are super neat. You know, like the bass baits, the regular, like, you know, for bait casters and regular bait fishing that like we do, they be really nice. I mean, the paint jobs be on point. They work really good. They do the thing. But I mean, there's just a lot of, there's like an art to this as well to be respected. I mean, and appreciate it. I definitely like it. Okay. So let's see. Let's put him right there. Like the brown colors. Um, Is this a cray cray? Let's see. Um, it's similar to a cray cray. That looks like I got some eyes. Wow. Look at that. Can you see that? And then you look at these little, like everything that they're thinking of is like so cool because all that is going to like irritate a bass or attract a bass. You know what I'm saying? You know, bass, they nerves is bad. They super aggressive, super aggressive. So all of that, he's like short. These are like for sure hitters right here. I haven't even used them yet. And I can just tell like that is it. all of that with this tail doing his thing. These are like really good baits to have. Let's see. 
Okay, what we got here? This is another little buggy looking guy. So he, let me see. Okay, so that is a cray cray. So that's one of these, the ones when I took out the pack. It's one of those guys. So we'll just put you with your little family. What we got? Um, another, I think this is a popper. I'm looking at the nose. You see how it's made. That, that light is so bright. Let's see. Can you see it? They are like, these things are like, I'm talking about, look at, you got the yellow, you got the yellow here, then you got the green little piece. These really look like wings. These really look like, um, what's that called? The, um, that are always on top of the water that they love. What is, dragonfly. It really looks like dra dragonfly wings right there. And then look, I mean, they have this little hairy little piece of the knees. I mean, like they're like thinking of it all. Even there's even some little pink little pieces in here. Detail. Like, I mean, come on with that outfit, man. This is like really, really nice. Okay, so they're so fancy. Let me see, let me just put this right here. Well, no, the poppers are going over here, right? That's what I said, yes. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. This guy has some, um, like the rubber, like how we use like our plastic baits. Plastic, it has like some plastic, just like how we would do like on our, um, um, like paddle tails, like the little tails on the end of like, um, single worms. Look at that. But they curl. And it has this good stuff. This is like a, um, plastic as well. Like it's really stretchy. See that? Stretchy the top then they still got like a little hair up in here look at that those eyes i mean everything even how they like kind of like teased like this hair or something <laughs> that's up in the front to give it like you know body it's like it's a, it has so much character okay so let's put this one let's put it right there because it's pretty unique it's pretty big too um let's see here's another one what's this thing oh you could so it has the it has sound too it has like little beads in there so you can get that like a sound effect that i'm sure the fish would hear for sure that's neat then it has all this little wild little brown here with some yellow in there this little orange and black little striped little tentacle things or whatever so cool of course it has eyes y'all if y'all know the names of any of these please because i have no idea this guy right here he's like like uh what's his name from um the muppets animal <laughs> he looks like animal <laughs> he is like if animal was a fly for fly fishing <laughs> look at that all right so let's see let's just put him with the browns is this another one no it's not another one but uh oh there it is oh look at this one wow this is really and it has weight too this is this is really done up you guys like they're so nice like i'd be really upset like if i lost them there's some of these are like really nice. like this look, just looks like jewelry like look at this okay so you see the eyes like the eyes are really big they're shiny then look you got like these little black and orange little antennas or whatever type of effect it has some purple around the eyeballs but then look at this tail it has this little poof right here but then look at this tail with the beads the pearls on it i mean the detail is just like boots with the furs <laughs> this is this is really some like diva pale bell like this is really some like some 1990 early 1990s maybe like late 80s pale bell type of uh, flies y'all this is really like some this some diva stuff y'all it's like if i was a fly okay i'm cruising around like this <laughs> this is i mean 
I'm up, y'all. I gotta make sure I got my ties right when I put them on. I do not want to lose these. These are really nice. Let me see. This one as well has a, some good weight to it. Okay, let's see. This is a white one. This is nice. And it has like the black and white kind of like design to it. Once again, a lot of detail. This is rubber on here. Then you got like the fuzz black and white this looks really nice you guys look at that okay so remember you guys if you know any of these if you recognize them you know the names let me know i'd love to know they're so beautiful i mean i'd love to be able to give them their proper name and to identify them so when I do catch a fish, I don't have to just be like, and look, you guys, I caught them on this thing, you know? So if you guys know, let me know because they're so beautiful. Let's see. Are you loose? They're so tight. Okay, here's a loose one. Here's another white one. It's, it's the same one. Let's see. This one's a little different, but they're definitely in the same family. Let's see. Just a little different, but another one. Let's see how his eyes look oh he um okay so yeah he didn't have no eyes he was like just one little thing in the front maybe like a little head but this one has eyeballs the majority of them had like a, yeah, an actual eye like face eyeballs so he has eyeballs but he's definitely similar to him they're both about the same weight okay which is cool as well because you don't have to put on like your split shots or anything like that because they're already kind of weighted you know which i'm sure the weight that they are is pretty much perfect for them because you want them to swim you know how they're meant to swim because all baits have a certain you know style of swimming the way they're created to imitate something let's see okay here's one wow this one is this is another weedless and I know it's weedless because of, you see how they added that string there to kind of like um, protect the hook. It has another little loop right here. It's like a really hard like um, floral or mono or something like that. Feels like really thick, like it'd be like, um, like 15, 20 pound mono. It's really thick. Um, and then look at that long tail. Really nice. Once again, it has like that stretchy um, plastic on it as well. A lot of thought out detail. Look at his eyeballs. His eyes are like blinged out, like super shiny, like chrome. They're like really cool, you guys. It has like green look like and a little brown. It's so long, let me see. Is he like a longer version of this guy? But these wheatless, so we want to let's keep our wheatless together. I have this wheatless so far. I have two wheatless, so let's keep the wheatless together for right now. Oh, here's a little guy. See, I mean, I'm used to seeing these right here. Like before I like started dabbling with the fly fishing, I would see these like in the shops and stores, and I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. I'm like, oh, what is that? What are you catching with that? I just didn't get it. I was like, okay, trout only, and I thought that you only. I thought that uh, fly fishing was only for trout fishing. That's what I thought. I just, I had no idea. I did not look into it. Um, and so I'm very um, glad that I did, you know, um, go outside the box and try something different because it's very, I wish I would have been doing this now for some years because it's definitely fun. And I definitely has, I, I definitely was missing out. So that's why I'm always telling you guys, try something new. I try to show you whatever I can get into and whatever I learn and hopefully it'll you know kind of like inspire you guys to try because it's very very cool it's so and it's so it's not just fishing it's so different than like you know if we're doing our regular bass fishing it's different I love bass fishing I love bass fishing with like bait casters and spinning rods but fly fishing is a whole another art of fishing so you have the art of bass fishing with your spinning rods and your fly rods then you also have it um with salt water rods i mean there's so many spear fishing there's so many different ways so it's like you know if you can get into it if you're able to access it some kind of way i mean give it a try you know it's i know a lot some of these things are more pricey but i mean you never know you maybe can find it if i find great prices i'll let you know so this is a little small guy 
and let's see how you yeah, see this hook is small enough where you can get a bluegill too that's a really small hook it's very small compared to like my nail I don't know if you can see that or not it's very small so you could catch a bluegill on here but I mean a bass without a problem on here because you know bass there they like their small baits as well and they go for their snacks let's see um come on get loose okay here's another one this is a very pretty color it's like a a plum like a wine color and then like a um what is that maybe like a olive green maybe it's really pretty though it's really pretty oh yeah some little eyes up in there too it's all the detail for me you guys look at that nice size hook so this one is like plum and like olive green so if you guys know let me know what you let me know the name of this one okay let's see oh here's a little guy Oh, this is a really tiny hook. Bluegill for sure. Bluegill, crappie, of course, bass, perch. Look at that little cutie. So tiny. Even with him, he has his little detail. Look at this, like the little rubber. He has the fur and he has like the little tees, like little hair. I love these little things. Okay, so we'll put all our little guys together. And let's see. Just so um for you know like the people that are don't know or learning or new to this whatever or you just kind of checking it out just cause you're probably like well how do you put it on the hook so they have like little holes you guys like right here um just like a little loop just like any other bait it's very small and you can go ahead and you would tie it on from there let's see see them probably can't tell but yeah there's little the same concept if you're tying on your own bait. If you're tying on regular bait, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there it is. Okay, let's see what else we got. I told you there was a lot, you guys. I'm sure some people have probably like boxes though. Look at those eyes. There, there, there's those fancy eyes again. Look at that. I like this. I just know that looks really good in the water. Look at those fancy eyes. Blinging long tail little tease bodies like yellow okay you guys know the name the eyes are gold they're surround oh it's pretty they're gold but then the inside is green they have like a green eye on the inside you see that nice okay let's see he ha i had another one like this let's see no not you yeah here we go so i'll put them two together So that is um green eyes with the tentacles I don't know you guys look okay then this one has a, um what is that okay so this one is all teased up and wild wild looking dude big eyes really big eyes can you see it there's some really big eyes on him. He has like this iridescent little um, like accents to him. You see that? The color, the iridescent, very pretty. So that's going to really do good with catching light and stuff like that. A great, I would think like a great spring and summer bait because it's going to catch that light. Very nice. Okay. Let's put this with the other white little baits that we have. Let's see how I can, it'll be easy to find. You know, sometimes you're looking for like the color. Wow, look at this guy. Yep. That's very soft. Very, very soft. That feels like some real fur. That's very soft, you guys. Let me see, get the hold it by the hook. Look at that guy. You see that? It's beautiful. Then you got like this furry like hair. Get the inside. Oh, it's red in there, huh? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is really good, for, too, for um, the fish that are attracted to, um, like, bait that is, like, bleeding or dying or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then they look for that. You know, it's like a target for them. They know that there's, like, a fish in distress. Oh, it's weedless, too. 
It's another wheat list. All right, that's cool. Very nice. Where's my wheat list? Oh, the fur is falling everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Good old bass hook up in there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, look at that one. Now, this is really bright purple. Oh, there's a little shimmer and shine to it. Look at that tail. Nice size hook. You see the hook? Look at that tail. This is a really pretty color. Okay, so let's put, um, we'll just put him with these kind of same type of concept of the design. Here's a, oh, here's another weedless. This is so cool that the flies come weedless. That's really, really cool. Look at that. A little iridescent on there. What's the color of those eyes? Oh, red eyes. You see those? Very nice. And then there's that weedless detail down there. You see it? I'm really loving this, you guys. Once again, remember, if you know the name, let me know. So here's our weedless little, uh-oh, our weedless area. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look at this little fancy girl right here. Yes, honey. Yes. Look at, okay, look. She came to play no game. She is luring you in with all. Now, this is a lure, you guys. This is a lure. Look at, look at her. She got the, okay, first of all, she got the purple, I mean, she got the orange face. She got the gold eyes and gold. Yeah, she got the gold eyes with the green on the inside. More purple, green. But then check out this. Here's a second. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. Look at that. Shut up. Okay, so nice size hook. But you guys, look. The reason they did that like that, so when you swim in her, she got this. Y'all know. Now, y'all fishermen, y'all bass fishermen, y'all know. Y'all know this is a this money right here. Look at that. Okay. You know what, girl? Let me see. Let's put you with the purple one. But I, she need her own little spot. I'm going to put her with this one. These are my jazzies. Okay. Because they both got them little fancy tails. So that's the reason as well, too. Look, I was so amazed at her having these beads that it's for that. So you have that, like that paddle tail. That Y'all know, y'all know? Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Y'all, that is beautiful. That was, that was good thinking. Okay, let's see, here go a black one. Very long, let's see. Look at, that's really long. Lots of nice detail again. Big eyes, big black eyes on them. The tail gets all nice and skinny and wet, gives that like mosquito or dragonfly type of, you know, real buggy in the water, fell in the water type of thing, you know? Oh, all of the little furs, cause they was all locked together. It just keeps floating around, but that's nice though. I like that one, so maybe hard for you guys to identify, but then I mean, maybe not. Cause if this is what you do, that's what y'all do. Let me know what you think the name of this one is. Okay, let's see. We'll put that one with these. This is very long. Okay, what we got? Okay, you guys, if y'all don't look at this, y'all, that's a frog, you guys. <laughs> this is a frog. Y'all look, got the little, on the side of the little legs dangling. Give it a little body. And it's weedless. Can y'all see this mess? I can't believe this. This is a weedless frog, you guys. Where you hook them at? Let's see. Oh, and then you hook them right here on the top of the head. Right there. So when you pull them, he just like... 
That's crazy. That's pretty dope. Okay, so where do I put the frog? Let me put you over here for right now. Put that frog there. Let's see. Oh, they're so tangled. Let's see. Come on, will I be messing you up? All right. This um may be a frog. It looks like it would be a frog to me. Another frog. Look at that. See that? Really cool. That looks like a little frog. That's really nice. Hooking through the nose right there. Got a little fur there. Really cute. That's crazy. I just can't believe that this fly fishing had all these options like this. Okay, let's see. I told you guys they were all tangled up. Oh, look at this little guy. This is like a um like a grasshopper. Yeah, look at that. He looks like a grasshopper to me. You see him? Definitely, definitely a grasshopper. Look at that little hook. Bluegill. You already know who love grasshoppers. Bluegills, um, crappies. Um, bass will hit them too, though. But that hook is very tiny. Definitely panfish. Look at that. That is so cute. Can you see him? That is so cute. And I'm sure it's so effective. They're like, yeah, I'm cute, but I get them. Let's see. Here's another. Oh, this is a cray cray. Cray cray rust. Because I know them. <laughs> That's cray cray rust. Okay. It's another one. So I put them in there. Oh, what is this little guy right here? Oh. Okay, y'all. Hold up. We got a trailer on there? What is this? Okay, so check out this one right here. Let me get a look on him first myself. Like, it's given mouse. It looks like a mouse. Like, look. Am I wrong? See the tail? Look at the little body, like, uh, fat and gross in the middle. Oh, wait, wait, upside down. Let's see. It. I think it. that's a mouse. Look at his ears. A rat or something. Look at that, y'all. And, and then look at the legs. Wow, look at the legs, and then look how the tail, I mean, not the tail, but the hook is trailing behind. You see that? That's a hitter for real. And that trailing hook right there, wow. Look at that. It's a mouse, y'all. Yeah? Right? That's a mouse. Look at that. That's a, that's crazy. That's a mouse. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I need to make, let me move these guys. Um, cause some of these need to be in their individual little zone. Maybe I can put, no. Uh, let me see. I'll put them with this guy. The mouse got to have his own little house. Okay, here go Cray Cray Rust again. Love these. Cray Cray Rust. Let's see. Here's another Cray Cray Rust. Okay. More Cray Cray Rust. Let's see. What is this little guy? Okay. Another one of these little wild looking Fraggle Rock looking dudes. Y'all remember Fraggle Rock? Look. Don't be telling y'all age and be talk, start talking about y'all know about Fraggle Rock. Look, Fraggle Rock, y'all know that's a throwback. Let's see who all comment below who know about Fraggle Rock. Let me see. Look at that. It's really cool. And that hook has a nice little hook on it as well. Okay, so let's see. We're going to put you right here. Uh, all of the little hairs. I'm glad I'm organizing it because they were so bunched up. Here's a black one. And it has, um, oh, it, I was about to say it was purple. And I was like, is it green? No. So it's that chameleon-like color for you car lovers. You know, the chameleon car color. Um, it's changing colors like iridescent. It's like purple. Then it's blue. It's very pretty. Rainbow. That light should be hitting that really good. Look at that. Good stretch on it. 
nice hook. Okay. With the t oh, and it has red eyes. Okay, so we're going to put you. Where is, yeah, with these guys. Okay. Let's see. Oh. One second, y'all. All right. Let's see. Oh, they just. Okay, there we go. So then we got this guy right here. Another one of them bushy wild dudes. Oh, his face is like in the, like I guess it's supposed to look like this. But look, it has the orange on the tips. Well, no, he gotta go this way, right? But I mean, he definitely likes something gonna buy him. He's like, you like you trespassing for real. Coming through looking all this wild like this. <laughs> something gonna get you for real. <laughs> Got a nice hook on it. He look like he coming to start some mess. He came out, his hair ain't comb or nothing. He got a bad hair day. He looked like, let's do it. I like this one. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. If you guys know the name of it, let me know. We're going to put him over here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. One that's loose. Okay, here we go. I think I had one of uh, these already. Let's see. It's got a little weight to it as well. Let's see what color this is. Eyes. I got like just like these like green pea green eyes nice hook nice very nice we'll just put him I think I I have one another one like this this color is there let's see here we go. okay here we go is he loose no not yet what's this this was a piece of something it came off. See, that's why I had to get it out of that, that bag because they're losing little parts and pieces. This came off as well. See that? So, so it was like a little eyeball. Oh, he's a little guy. There's another nice one. These are very effective as well, these little small ones. Because, I mean, like, when I was throw when I threw them out for, like, um, when I knew where, uh, bluegills were they were chasing this but like literally they were chasing it like i wanted to see like how far like and how long they would chase like i was trying to snatch it like fast they were like blasting it like we know you know bluegills are they can they can be very aggressive but i mean the chase i've never had a bluegill chase like my worm or any artificial bait like that like this it was it definitely these flies hit different for panfish for sure because i mean they were i mean i was like trying to like just get away from them because i wanted to see how far they would go and they was like charging it like till they actually got it those are small ones. Oh, here's another small one i like the little small black flies just because that super tiny one i caught like my pb so that is always going to be like my favorite until um beats my pb where is it uh, what? Look, see, I got so many. It's in here somewhere. Like, I'll go back over it. It's in here somewhere, though. But I do not want to lose that one because it's super small. So I'll put this one with the black ones for right now. Yeah, I don't want to lose that one. So that's like my favorite. Okay, let's see. And that one, it will catch, uh, of course, um, bluegills. But I just couldn't believe that I caught a bass at night with that one okay look at this little guy you got some kind of just like buggy you know or like super ant or something you know little hair on it a little stretchy nice size hook it's a good one okay so we're gonna I guess I'll put this one with the black ones let me see wait a minute yeah I'll put that one Here's the one uh, with that tail I like. Because those eyes, red eyes. See them? Furry, very soft fur. Got the little stretchy legs and that hook. But look, it has that separate, that separate tail. So you're gonna get that nice paddle to it. That's gonna be really irritating the bass, you know? Attracting him as well. Nice little weight on it. 
like the side i don't know but it's it's light small split shot kind of like you know vibe let's see let's put that right there let's see this is another one i think we saw one like this already with that iridescent this is the one we we're talking about with the chameleon like color look at that very nice yeah where did i see you at i think he's in here yeah there he is it's the same size let's see Careful, let's see. Yeah, same size, two of those. Okay. It's like it's hard to avoid getting them tangled, but I guess this will do a little, this will help. Cause some of them are just so extravagant with their little tails. Okay. See here. Oh, this little wild guy. Another one of these little wild guys. I just think these wild ones are the ones too. Because when they get wet, they, this is going to look nice and thick and wild in the water. What color is that eyeball? Just black eyes. Like a gray color. Look at that. It has a little, yeah, has like little beads in there. And inside this little piece right here, there's like some beads. So when you move it, it's playing, you know? Anything to get the guys going and irritated. Oh, it's the same one, I have two of those, okay. I thought you looked familiar. So one has a red face. Oh no, same thing, they're the exact same ones. Yep. Okay. Let's see who we got here, is this one or is this two? This is two. Another fancy diva. Like the other one, I have one like this already. Red eyes, a little iridescent, and it has that nice tail. Get that reaction. Nothing like a nice reaction bait. And who knew that fly? You had um, reaction fly baits. So that's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Now this one has. This one is. Wait, well, I haven't seen this one yet. So this is a green. Has like a green head and nice green and gold like colors a little plastic in there nice tail let's see how about the hook nice size hook very good very good you yeah if y'all have identified anybody on here let me know let me know when you under the description don't just say the name just say like you know tell me like you know the one that had the green face and the gold hair or you know something like that so that way i can identify it you know and then get the name so that way i know because if you just say the name that ain't gonna do nothing for me let's see let me put him right there up oh, oh, sharp I almost poke myself let me see okay come apart they're like so uh, entangled up there's, okay, so there we go. Let me try to get. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it like that. Come on. Mm. There we go. Okay. That's two. Or is that one? Okay, yeah, that's one. Let's try to get these out the way, too. I think these is really, let me see, is that one? That is very, wow. Y'all got to check that one out. That is very, very dolled up. I'm talking about, dang. Okay, there's a little one. This is two. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, another frog. Oh, this is, wow, this is really cool. It's really cute, too. Okay, look at this, you guys. It's a weedless frog. And this has to be like, I'm, what's weedless? I'm like, is it top wire? Does it dive a little bit? Look at this, y'all. Look at that. What is it? Look at this. Look at, look at this. <laughs> y'all, look. Look at, it's weedless. Look at the legs. 
Let's see. Can y'all see that? There we go. Look at that, y'all. Look at that little guy. Ain't that the neatest? That is so cute. Look at his little eyeballs. Oh, that is a good job. Whoever made this, this is a good job. And then he got a little weight at the bottom. Look at that. See that? This is really cute. These little baits is tripping me out, y'all. So this is a frog. Y'all know the name of this little guy? I know he a frog, but do he got like a special name? You know, all baits got like a little name. Oh, this is cute. Let me put you with the other frog. Oh, he's so cute. I don't even want to use him. I'll be scared I'm going to lose him. Okay, look at this one. It's a little basic black one, and it has the um, small hook, so bluegills will be after him big time. Put him in there. Let's see. Oh, I have one of these in there, and it has a nice weight. It feels a little heavier than the other one. Look at that. See that? Really nice. It's cute that light, you guys. But look, I don't want to stop and adjust it. I think it may be fine, and it's just from my view. But if not, my apologies. Okay, let's see. Here's another one. I think is he the same one? Go. Oh no, he's not. Okay, so that one. Nice size hook again. Nice color. It's almost like a um chartreuse, almost, you know, not as bright, but definitely has that, you know, that kind of vibe. Is it the same color? The same one? So this is family. Look at him. Oh, this is a bigger one. Same exact look. Okay, so let me get it for y'all. Same look. I think the details are the same, but his tail is longer, longer than his, and um, the body itself is a little bit bigger. And then look at the um, the hooks. I'll do them side by side. Can you see that? The hooks are a lot different in size. Can you see? I hope you guys can see this. Let me see. Oh, I don't know y'all, but look, that's one hook. Okay, yeah, that's a good view over there. That's one hook and then this is the other one. Same one, two different size hooks. So when I see that, that just made me feel like this bait, the way it looks, is very effective because they went and did it twice with two different sizes. So leads me to think that the studies was, he was a hitter. So I like that. And he's a little heavier as well. So I definitely like that. Let me see, it's a good sign. If you know the name of him, let me know. Is it, yeah, here he is, yep. So, oh, pokey. Okay, here's another one of these wild boys. Oh, he's so wild. His hair be untamed. Coming outside looking crazy. All right, so, he's bushy. I can't even get to me, see? There go the hook. Mr. Cutter's eyes, he's got like some gray, gray eyes. Same color as like the um, split shots. Same material feels like as well, which is probably where he's getting his weight from. That's a little weight on him. Nice, little wild dude. Okay, I think he's similar to, I think the one in here. With another wild boy. Look at that, I have this one too. I just put one in here like that, where is he? Right here. So, are the same size hooks? Yep. Two of those guys. Let's 
see. Thank you. Very nice. I like the color, all the different colors that's in there. Very nice. I know I like colors on my little nails and stuff. Let's see. Oh, right here. It's the white ones. And then this is the last. Oh, there's my baby. Y'all was nervous for real. I keep telling you guys the favorite one. You, This is the one. So I'll show you that last. But let me go ahead and look at this one. So funny how the last one I untangled was... I'm talking about diva licious. Okay, girl, where your face at? Tell me something. Where your bass at? Look, y'all. That color. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And then look at the beads right here, you guys. You see that? Oh, and it's gonna Let's see. Can y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? That's dope. Look at that. And then the, that tail. Oh, I want to definitely fish this one ASAP. Look at that hook. Look at that hook on that thing, too. No games being played. No games. That is very, very beautiful. Very, very nice. Look at that. The bees on there, they move. You can hear it. I like that. I need to do like an ASMR. Is ASMR still a thing, y'all? I need to do me an ASMR on some of these little, some of these baits I be having. Look at that. Okay, so she needs to, let me see. Let's put her with the purple. She's so fancy. But then this one right here, you guys, let me get the little extra off of here just so she can be ready for next time. I love this one. I'm telling y'all, I caught my PB on this little bitty bait. You never would think, I never in my biggest dreams thought that um, a big bass was going to hit this, and it did. That was like really crazy. Look how little this thing is. In the dark, you guys, it's like, it's at nighttime too. I just, I would, you know, just messing around because I'm trying to get familiar with fly fishing. So I was like, let me go ahead and just put this little cutie on here. Maybe I can get like a little bluegill or crappie somebody hit me at night whatever just to see because look how this is the trippy part that tripped me out look how small this hook is you guys i don't even know if i can give y'all a good vision on it but let me just see i can barely see the hook myself can y'all see that little hook I'm trying to hold it back y'all the hook is super tiny i can't even get the y'all the hook is so small it's like a um like a carp hook, you guys. It's very small, very small. I don't even fish this small for bluegill. And I cannot believe that I caught that bass on this on this hook. It literally hooked the inside of his mouth because he was like trying to just tear it up. And so it was like inside his like, you know, this is crazy. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So let me see, I'm gonna put it with the little bitty ones. Oh, and if you guys know the name of this one, cause I just call it like my little black worm. So if you know the name of it, let me know, please. Cause I love it. All right, and definitely bluegills will just smash that. So I gotta put this with my, um, on my hooks and everything. Use these as well. Put them sinkos on that boy. Let me see. So you guys, look, I did pretty good. Took a second. <sighs> Took some minutes, <laughs> some uh, a bit of a time, but look at I got them in there. And this is very, this is gonna be very helpful for me because I could just throw this in my backpack for when I'm going um, fly fishing and covers up, it closes really good. So it seals to the top of it, so you know. They stay in their compartments, but that works really good, you guys. Very good. So, can you just see? See that? Look at that, y'all. Yes, I'm officially a fly girl. <laughs> Look at y'all. 
pretty cool. I mean, I can look in through the box. I kind of see what I want, you know, and open it up. It's super easy and just, you know, getting it going. Grab it out. Boom. You know, and get what you want. I love this one. I love that one. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, please comment below. Let me know um, if you guys recognize any of these baits. Give the description of it and then tell me the name of it. That way I can be able to um, relate it to the actual bait so I can know um, what it is. Um, if you have any tips on fly fishing for me, I'm very new to this. And by far, am I anyone to give any advice? So I'm open for advice. You know, I'm still trying to get out there and learn and just enjoy it and experience it. So just let me know comment below please subscribe to the channel if you made it this far um we are officially friends and there's no way that you should not be subscribing to my channel okay help your girl out hit the like button get me in that algorithm let it let youtube know that you know what i'm saying we are friends we cool you know y'all like what i got going on and so they can share it with everybody but um as always you know what i'm saying continue to catch these smiles i'm on instagram i'm on tiktok i'm on youtube i'm on facebook always glittering gills so as always catch these smiles and i catch you guys later all right thanks for watching